Our next stop is the very birthplace of railway restoration. Towen is the starting point of the seven and a half mile long, two foot, three inch gauge Teletlin Railway. As with the majority of Welsh narrow gauge railways, Teletlin was built in April 1864 to ship slate from the quarries high up in the valley to the main line at Towen. As the slate industry began to decline, the owner of the line, Sir Henry Hayden Jones, was determined to keep the railway open. Eventually, the Teletlin Railway Preservation Society was founded in 1950 and was able to keep this narrow gauge line running. Today, the railway is dedicated to visitors and this morning's first train load of passengers will be powered by the number four locomotive, which was built by Kerr, Stewart and Company Limited in 1921 and bought by the Teletlin Railway in 1951. The smile on the front of the engine belongs to one of the famous Thomas the Tank engine characters. After a six and a half mile ride up the valley, our train arrives at Abergadolan Station. The station has been carefully preserved and updated throughout the life of the railway and boasts what is thought to be the longest narrow gauge platform in Britain at 620 feet. Our railway adventure through Wales is leaving Abergadolan and follows a hillside ledge above the valley floor as it heads for the final stop at Nant Gwerdol. Abergadolan was originally the end of the line until the railway was extended past the slate mines to Nant Gwerno on May 22, 1976. There's no road access to the station, which means that everyone who wants to enjoy the wonderful forest trails that start there must take the train. Our train curves along the valley floor and stays close to the hillside, cutting its way through the forest as it approaches the station. The engine positions itself at the opposite end of the train for the trip back to Toad. 